So your filters become your physiology, uh, positive or negative. Let me explain. So in the short term and over the long term, I'm giving examples of both. So when I was a kid, had a number of incidents with poisonous snakes. I find snakes quite scary. I'm quite fearful of them. And even when I see a stick that's remotely shaped like a, a snake, I always think it's a snake. And I, uh, I'm afraid. I, I get, they make me nervous, I jump. And that affects my cortisol level. That my nervous system is on high alert. It makes me vigilant of it, aware of it. it. Elevates my cortisol level. And I'm afraid of them. I am more likely to run from them. I'm not gonna run towards them. My friend, on the other hand, grew up with them, likes them, not one bit afraid, and he wants to go pick it up, which I think is, quite frankly, crazy. He does not have the same cortisol response. His heart rate doesn't go up. His blood pressure doesn't go up. So in the moment, he's relaxed. I'm nervous. So if we run ever run into a snake together, uh, I'll run, he'll go towards. So, and that shapes his actions. Now, that's a short term. But happens with long-term thing issues too. So, pretty famous study done by Aaliyah Crum from Stanford. Round took uh, housekeeping from five major hotel chains and educated them on, you know, first off surveyed them ahead of time and asked them all. They all thought they didn't exercise and uh, for a variety of reasons, and they they exercised less than their peers and. Uh, generally reported not being all that satisfied with their work. Well, she educated them on the physiology, the, the, the caloric expense, the physical benefits of, of their work being moderately high intensity and that they should have the, phys the benefits of exercise, that they're, they're num the, the amount and time and the physical activities that they do far exceeded what was recommended on a weekly basis for exercise. And then they waited eight weeks, came back, uh, resurveyed, retested. Uh, they had lost weight. They reported they had lower blood pressure, lower heart rate. They started to show physiological changes associated with exercise, uh, but they weren't exercising anymore. So in other words, now they were starting to get the benefits of the changes now that they knew they started to show the physiological changes associated with more exercise so their physiology changed and not only that but they reported being much happier with their work enjoyed their work a lot more so they they started to look on it more favorably so it changed their thought process so both of those extremes uh, affect your physiological change in the motion in the moment and then what you are likely to do or not likely to do uh, over the long haul. It's the belief in it, the filter that you have associated with your belief about something. Snakes are scary. My exercise, my I don't exercise, my work doesn't give me necessarily give me benefits. Those be all become your, your filters based on your beliefs, your experiences and your beliefs. Uh, which then affect your physiology in the moment uh, and over time from the choices you'll make to run towards, run away, um, to put in the work to make the positive change, to exercise, to do the things you need to do to take control over your, whatever the situation is. Um, but start all starts with belief and understanding where your filters are. So anyway, give some thought to that and how your filters become your physiology and shape them how uh, you want them to be uh, and uh, make positive changes. Anyway, thanks for listening, everybody. Hope you're out enjoying this beautiful day and everybody uh, uh, keep on thriving. Bye-bye, guys.